Hey, what's up? And welcome back to the Football Stadium tutorial where in the last part, I showed you how to do the main football pitch and also the outer wall of the stadium itself. So in this next part, I'm going to be showing you how to make the roof and decorate all of the extra interior inside. And before I continue this tutorial, I'd really appreciate a little smash that like button. That does help me out. I highly appreciate that. But with all that said, let's get back into the build. So next up, I'm now going to show you how to create the roof for the football stadium. So for this, I'm going to grab myself some grey concrete and also some black stained glass. So first up, with this black stained glass, if I just start in this bottom left-hand corner here, I'm just going to place glass one block up, just going inwards. I'm just going to place this going all the way around this whole stadium wall by just keeping one block in. So I'm just going to go around the whole perimeter with all of this glass. But as you see, as I am getting to these rounded corners, I'm just making sure I am keeping one block in and then just following the outer edge. So by the end, you should have something that looks like this. So you should have this whole wall that's just one block in going around the whole stadium wall here. And the next up, moving to the grey concrete. This time, if I start from this point here, I'm just going to place one bit of grey concrete, just going diagonally up by one from that point. And then I'm just going to follow this around, going all the way around the whole stadium. So as you see, I'm just trying to match this white wall that we built earlier. So you can use that as a guide when building this all the way around. By doing that, you should end up with a nice ring of grey concrete going all the way around. Just like this. And as you see, the glass is placed underneath and it's just one block in all the way around. So if you've got that, you're on track. So before I fill in the roof, I'm going to add some extra markers to our stadium just so it can help with where we place some blocks. So with any temporary block, I'm just going to use some white concrete. At each corner of this whole football pitch here, I'm just going to place four blocks going out diagonally of each corner. So you should have some extra markers that looks like this. And as you see, we've already got our marker from our previous part one. So we can just leave that how that is. And the next up, I'm just gonna grab any temporary block. So I'm just gonna grab myself some polished diorite. And then if I just go to our front left marker over here, just on the outer point here, I'm just going to build up 11 blocks with this polished die, right? Or any temporary block. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10, and 11, just like that. And then once I've built that pillar up, I'm then just going to place one bit of black stained glass on top, just like that. And I'm just going to do the same thing for the other points around the pitch so if i just come to the front right side this time and then on the point closest to me here again building up 11 blocks so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and then placing just one bit of black stained glass on the top there and then doing the same thing on the other side so again if i just come to the back right side here again on the point closest to me placing another 11 polished die right so one two three four five six seven eight nine 10 and 11 and then on top placing one black stained glass and then finally just coming to the back left corner just over here i'm just going to count across four blocks along and on that fourth block placing another 11 polished die right and then finally just one bit of glass on top there so by the end you should end up with these four pillars going around the pitch here and the next up Moving back to the black stained glass, I'm just going to connect all of these top points together to form one larger rectangle. And by the end, you should end up with something like this. So as you see, I've got all of this black stained glass going all the way around to form a rectangle. So now that has been built, we can now get rid of all of our temporary blocks from each point. And then sticking with the black stained glass, just on each inner corner, of this rectangle that we just built. I'm just going to place five glass in the L shape in each corner, just like this one I've just done here. So I'm just going to do the same thing for all of the other three corners. Just to check, by the end, each corner should have a five block long L 
just in each corner. And next up, moving back to the grey concrete, I'm just going to line the whole inner edge of this section with all of it. So starting at this front left corner, I'm just going to place grey concrete going all the way around. So by the end, you should have something that looks like this. And then sticking with the grey concrete, I'm just going to extend this grey edge up by one more block. So just going all the way around. And the next up, moving back to the black stained glass, I'm just going to fill in this whole hollow area that we've left going all the way around the outer edge of this stadium here. So just connecting this inner section with this outer section that we just built earlier. And then once that all has been connected, that will finish our roof. But yeah, so just extending this whole thing out just until I meet with this outer edge. So by the end, you should end up with a large glass roof going all the way around here. So with the roof done, I can now start decorating the inside of the stadium. So first up, I'm just going to add some of the stadium floor. So for that, I'm going to grab myself some stone to begin with. And then with the stone, if I just go to the front left section of the football pitch over here, just from this point, I'm just going to place three stone just coming out there to begin with. And then I'm just going to extend this all the way across to the other end of the pitch. And that should leave you with a strip that looks like this. And then now just on either side, firstly, I'm just going to extend this across by three blocks just on each side to begin with. And then I'm just going to extend each of these ends going all the way up until I align with the top part of the pitch over there. For example, if I start on this left side to begin with, I'm just going to extend this all the way up until I meet with the top part of the pitch. And that will leave you something that looks like this. And then just doing the same thing on this other side. And then once both sides have been filled in, just come into the back of the stadium. I'm just going to extend each point across by another three blocks. And then I'm just going to connect these two points together. And that will leave you with something that looks like this. And then just a reminder, if you do get confused on what side of the stadium I'm working on, just because it is quite symmetrical, just remember I have marked this arrow here, just so you know what kind of like side I'm working on. So next up, I'm going to mark out where all of the seating is going to go. So for that, I'm going to grab myself some light blue concrete. The first thing, I'm just going to go to the front left section of the football pitch. And then just from this point just here, I'm just going to go up one block and then across by three. And on that block, I'm just going to place one light blue concrete there. And then I'm just going to extend this going in the left direction just until I meet with the wall there. And then going around, I'm going to count across 28 blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, and 28. On that 28 block, I'm just going to place one more light blue concrete. And as you see, it lines up with the left side of the door there. And then going around, I'm just going to extend this across to meet with that side of the door. And then moving back to the front, I'm going to count across eight blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. On that eighth block, placing some more light blue concrete. And then extending that back to meet with the right side of that entrance there. And the next up, I'm going to count across 28 blocks in the right direction. So including that one, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, and 28. And then I'm just going to place one light blue concrete there. And then going around, I'm just going to extend this across until it meets with the back wall. As you see, I've marked the left side out of our stadium. So I'm going to mirror that on the other side. So this time, if I go to the front right section of the football pitch. And then just from this point just here. 
I'm going to go up by one and then across by three. And then I'm going to place another light blue concrete there. And then I'm just going to extend this across and to meet the back wall there. And then moving back to the front, I'm then going to count across 28 blocks. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, and 28. And as you see, if you've done this correctly, it will line up with that right side of the entrance there. And then just going behind that blue concrete, I'm just going to extend that across so it meets with the entrance there. And then moving back to the front, I'm then going to count across eight blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then on that eighth block, placing another light blue concrete there and extending the back so it meets the left side of the entrance there. And the next, I'm then going to count across another 28 blocks. So one, two, three, four, five. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, and 28. On that 28th block, placing another light blue concrete there, and then extending the back of the wall there. So by doing this, this will mark out all of our side seats. So now that everything is marked out, I can now start creating all of the seats for our stadium. So if I just start in the front left section, just over here, so this strip just there. From this point, I'm just going to place some light blue concrete and then build that all across. Just to heighten that strip by one more block. And then going to the left hand side here, I'm just going to place 10 blocks going across. And then I'm going to place 8 blocks. Then 6. Then four, and then finally two, just there. And then for extra decoration, I've got some black stained glass panes here. I'm just going to place two on top of each bit going up there. And that will complete one side of a block of seats. And then I'm just going to repeat this exact same design on this other side just there. So again, firstly, I'm just going to thicken this strip by one more block upwards just there. And then going to the right, I'm going to place 10 blocks. Just going across there. And then I'm going to place 8. Then 6. Then 4. And then 2 to finish off there. And a full bit of extra decoration, moving back to the black stained glass panes. Just going to place 2 on each point going up. Just there. And that will complete the sides for our first block of seating here. So next up, I'm just going to fill in this area where all the seats are going to be placed. So I'm just going to mark it out on the left hand side to begin with. So if I just go back to the grey concrete, from this point just there, I'm just going to place two. And I'm just going to repeat this going diagonally up just until I meet with the wall just there. And the next up, I'm just going to extend each of these points all the way across until they meet with the other side of that wall there. So starting with this point, I'm just going to build this across. Just until I meet just there. And then doing the same for the rest. So just building them across until I meet with the other side. So by the end, you should end up with something that looks like this. And the next up for the seats. So for this, I'm going to be using some polished deep slate stairs. And then just starting from this bottom left section, from this point here, I'm just going to place one stair there to begin with. Then I'm going to leave the gap and then place another stair. Leave a gap and then place another stair. And I'm just going to repeat this going all the way along until I reach the other side. Just there. And I'm just going to do this for each of the other levels going up. You should end up with something that looks like this. And then finally, just for some extra light, I'm now going to grab myself some torches. And then if I just go to the left hand side here, just in front of each stair, I'm just going to place one torch. Just going up. And then doing the same for the other side. 
So next up, I'm just going to repeat this exact same design for that point on the right side there and for these other two points just there. So feel free to re-watch this part of the video in order to complete these other three sections. So by the end, if you have followed the exact same design, you should end up with something that looks like this. So we should have four blocks of seating just on the left and the right side there. So next up, I'm going to show you how to create some more seating for the front and back of the stadium. So these two sections are going to be a lot larger than the ones that we've done on both of these sides here. So first, if I just start at the front section of the stadium, if I just go to this corner just over here, just on this point here, I'm just going to go across one and then I'm going to go up by three. And on that block, I'm just going to place one bit of light blue concrete there. And then I'm just going to extend this all the way to the back of the wall just there. And then I'm just going to double this up by another one. And then starting from this point, I'm going to go across two blocks and then place two white concrete there and then extend that along. And then going back, and I'm going to count across another two blocks, place some light blue concrete and then build that across. And then going back from that point, counting across two, placing some light blue, building that across. And going back again, counting across two, and then placing another light blue concrete, building that across. And then finally for the last time, counting across two, and then placing two light blue concrete there. So I'm just building the exact same wall design that I've done for each of these other sections just there. And next up, I'm then gonna grab some black stained glass panes. I'm just gonna place two on each section going up. Just like that. I'm just gonna do the exact same thing for the other side. So if I just go to the other side, just over here, and then just from this point here, I'm gonna go across one, and then go up by three. And on that block there, I'm gonna place some more light blue concrete. And I'm just gonna mirror what I've done on that side. So again, extending that across to the back of the wall, and then building that up by one more. And then coming back to the start here, I'm gonna go across two, place a block, extend that across, and then going back again, counting across two, placing a block, and then going to the wall, and then coming back again. So again, I'm just repeating this whole process just until I'm left with two blocks at the top there. And once all that has been placed, going back to the back stained glass, and then it's gonna place two panes on each bit going up, just like that. And that'll give us our two walls here. And the next move into the grey concrete, starting on this left hand side, I'm just going to place two there. And I'm just going to keep placing two blocks, just going up one each time, just going along there. And then I'm just going to extend each of these points all the way across to the other side. So by the end, should end up with something that looks like this. And I'm just going to move to the polished deep state stairs, and then just starting from this point here on the left hand side. I'm just gonna place one stair there, leave a gap, place another stair, leave a gap, and place another stair. And I'm just gonna repeat this whole pattern just on each layer, just going across to the other side. And that'll leave you with something that looks like this. And then just to finish that off with some torches, I'm just gonna place on each side one torch in front of each stair. So just doing that on each side. So I'm just going to do the exact same stadium design on the other side. So first, if I just mark off the other side, so if you come over here, and then just from this point here, I'm going to go across one, and then up by three, and then place one light blue concrete there, and then just extend that all the way across, just there. And then going across to the other side, from that point there, going across by one and then up by three, and then placing one light blue concrete there, and then extend that across. And that'll just mark out where the other lot of seating is going to go. Next up, all you've got to do is repeat this exact same design that I showed you, but on this side over here. So feel free to rewatch that part of the tutorial to complete that. So with all the seats placed, you should end up with something that looks like this. 
So next up, sticking with the light blue concrete, I'm now going to show you how to create both football team changing rooms. So for the first one, I'm just going to go to the front left section of the stadium. And then if I just go to this left corner here, from this point, I'm going to count across four blocks. So one, two, three, four. On that fourth block, I'm going to place one bit of light blue concrete there. And then I'm just going to place another three after that. Then they're going to go in one and then place two. And then go in another one and then this time place one light blue there. But this time I'm also going to need some grey concrete. And then place one in front of that. If I just go to the other corner on the right hand side. So from this point, counting across four. And then placing four light blue concrete going down there. And then placing another two going inwards. And then placing another light blue inwards there. Followed by a grey concrete there. And then just where these light blue sections are on each side. I'm just going to extend each of these up so they're seven blocks high in total. So we've got our first layer here. And then two. And then three. And then four. And then five. And then six. And then finally seven. And if you have done this right, this should be the exact same height as the top point of each of the seating areas. And then next up, I'm going to extend both of these grey points up by another four blocks. So one, two, three, four. And then one, two, three, four. Just there. And then I'm just going to place one grey concrete just in the middle section there. And on top of that grey concrete, I'm then going to place some more light blue concrete just on top. And the next up, I'm going to grab myself some white concrete. And with this, I'm just going to fill in the whole inside of this corner. So just filling in all of this. And that'll give us some nice white floor just there. And the next up, I'm then going to switch to my grey concrete. And then just going down by one block. So on that second block there, I'm just going to place one bit of grey concrete there. And then I'm just going to fill in this whole roof. So just filling that all up. And that'll leave you something that looks like that. And it is a bit dark in there, so I'm just going to grab myself some lanterns. And then, just anywhere, it doesn't have to be very specific, but I'm just going to place three in kind of like each corner, just there. So I'm just going to do the exact same thing, but on the opposite corner, over there. So if we just travel over here, so again, going back to our light blue concrete, just going to the left-hand side here. I'm going to go across four blocks, on that fifth block. Placing another light blue concrete. And it's sending that down. So it's four down in total. And then. Going in and then placing two. Going in and then placing. One light blue and then a grey. And doing the same thing on this other side. So again from that point. Count across four. Then placing four light blue concrete there. And going in by one. Placing two light blue. Going in by one and then placing one light blue. And then some grey there. And then I'm just going to extend each of these light blue sections again. So they're the same height as the seating area. So they're the same height as top of the seating areas. So again, seven blocks high in total. And that'll give you something that looks like that. And then just from each of these points, I'm going to extend these up by another four blocks. Just like that. And I'm just going to place one grey concrete in the middle bit there. And then I'm just going to place six light blue to top that off just there. And next up, moving back to the white concrete, 
I'm just going to fill in the floor on this section here again. So just fill that all in. And that'll leave you with something that looks like that. And then again, for the roof, going back to the grey concrete, just going one block down, I'm just going to fill in the whole of this roof. And that'll leave you with something that looks like this. And next up, I'm just going to grab myself some normal stone. And I'm just going to fill in the rest of this area going around it there. And I'm just going to do that for the first corner that we've done earlier. So again, just filling all this area in. And that will neaten those two corners off. Oh, I just noticed this other section needs some lanterns as well. Let's place three of them just in there. So now it's time to decorate these changing rooms. So starting with the front left one that we first done just over here. For this one, firstly, I'm going to grab myself some shulker boxes. And I'm going to grab myself some light blue ones and some white ones. And then just facing the front, starting with the white shulker box, going to the left hand side just here. I'm going to place three going up there. And the lever gap, place another three. Lever gap, place another three. I'm just going to do the same thing on the other side. So from that point, place three, lever gap, place another three, lever gap, and then place eight, another three there. And then moving to the light blue shulker boxes, I'm then going to place three just in these gaps that we left. We're just doing that on each side. And that will give us some nice locker designs. Oh, just realized I placed that one wrong. Let's fix that. And then just behind me, I'm going to add some seating. Before that, I'm going to grab myself some stone slabs. Some smooth stone ones. And then just from this point here, I'm just going to place one smooth stone slab there. I'm going to place another two. And I'm just going to keep placing these, just following the wall around. Just until I'm one block away from the shulker box there. And then after that, I'm then going to add some clove hooks. So for this, starting on the left-hand side, just going one block up there. I'm just going to place one tripwire hook there. I'm going to leave a gap, place another one. Leave a gap, place another one. And then in this corner section, it does get a little bit weird. So I'm just going to place one on that section there. And this time, I'm going to leave a gap of two. But then placing another tripwire hook there and leaving a gap of one in between them just there. So they should all be spaced one block between them. Apart from this little middle bit just there. And then I'm just going to do the exact same thing. But for the other changing room on this other side here. So again, starting with the white shulker boxes. From this point, placing three up. And then leave a gap. Placing another two lots there. And then doing the same thing on this other side. Just like that. And then moving back to the light blue shulker boxes. Just filling in the gaps. On each side just there and then next going to the smooth stone slabs from this point here I'm then just gonna place slabs following the wall just until I'm one block away from that white shulker box there and then with these tripwire hooks from this point place one leave a gap place one leave a gap place one and then this time leave a gap but then leave a gap of two and then place one leave a gap place one lever and place one on the end there and that'll complete our other changing room next up i'm now going to show you how to create the food stands for the football pitch so for the first one i'm going to start on the front right section just on the other side here so for that similar to what we've done before going to the left hand side here counting across four on that block placing some light blue concrete and extending that by four just there and this time i'm going to go in one and then place to light blue concrete there just like that i'm just going to do the same thing on the other side so again from that point counting across four blocks and then placing a light blue there extending that so 
So it's four long in total. And then going in one, placing another two blocks. Just like that. And then I'm just going to extend each of these sides up to seven blocks high in total. And that'll leave you something that looks like this. So again, they should be the same height as the top point of each of these seating areas. And the next up, from this point, going down one block, I'm just going to place one light blue diagonally across there. And then doing the same thing on the other side. And then I'm just going to extend each of these by one more, just in front there. And then finally, I'm just going to place one light blue in the middle there. And then I'm just going to extend that up, just like that. And then just below here, and then I'm going to place three grey concrete going across there. And next up, just going inside, I'm just going to wallpaper this inner section here. A method I like to call Minecraft wallpapering. So for that, I've got some white concrete. And just starting from this point, I'm going to build up five blocks. So one, two, three, four, five. And then I'm just going to extend this along to the back wall. And then I'm just going to follow this whole wall around. Just building in front back wall here just following that all the way around and then I'm just doing this until I meet with the end of the blue wall just there so that should leave you something that looks like this and the next to fill in the floor for the floor I'm going to be using some polished deep slate so I'm just going to fill in the whole floor just in this section here And that'll give you something that looks like that. And then for the roof, with some grey concrete, just going one block down, just going to fill in this whole area for the roof. should end up with something that looks like that and then just going inside here again i'm just going to lighten this place up with three lanterns just placed randomly there and i'm just going to repeat this design on the other corner just over there so again with some light blue concrete starting on this corner here i'm going to count across four blocks place one extend that so it's four across in total then i'm going to go in one and then place another two there and doing the same thing on this other corner. Going across four blocks. Placing four down. And then two inwards. And then just extending each of these sides up. So they're both seven blocks high in total. And that leaves you something that looks like that. And then just from this point here, I'm going to count down one. And then I'm just going to place one light blue concrete just diagonally across there. And then doing the same thing on this other side. And extending each of these points by one more. And then placing one light blue concrete in the middle there. And then just thickening that by one more. And I'm just coming down here and then going to grab myself some grey concrete. And I'm just going to place three going across there. And the next I'm just going to wallpaper this in a section. So again, with some white concrete from this point here. Just going to place five going up. And then I'm just going to build this going all the way around this wall. Just to cover it all up. Just until I end up on that bit of the blue wall there
And the next, I'm going to grab myself some polished deep slate. And I'm just going to fill in this inner floor. Just there. And then for the roof again, with this grey concrete, going down one block. And then filling in just all of this area. And that'll leave you something that looks like that. And then finally, just for a bit of extra light, I'm going to grab myself some lanterns. I'm just going to place three just randomly just there. And that'll complete the buildings for our food stands. And then just to neaten off both areas, I'm just going to grab myself some more stone. And I'm just going to fill in all of this extra area with all of it. And that'll give you something like that. And then just doing the same thing on the other side that we first started off with. So again, just filling all this area in. So with both of the areas filled in there, I can now start decorating each of these food stands. So I'm just going to start with the front right one over here. So first up, for this front section, I'm going to grab myself some white carpet. And I'm just going to place one on each side of the grey concrete there to begin with. And the next, I'm then going to grab myself an iron trap door. And I'm just going to place one just on that end just there. And then I'm then going to grab myself a lever. And then place one there. That way you can open and close the door. And then for a little menu board, I'm then going to grab myself some chains. And also some black wool. And then firstly with the chains, on this point here, I'm just going to place one. And then another one on that point there. And then with the black wall, place one just underneath each chain. And then one just in the middle there. And that'll give us our first menu board. And then I'm just going to add four item frames just there. And then just going inside. For some fridges, I'm going to grab myself some pistons. And then just on this left side, I'm just going to place four pistons going up. And then another four just in the other direction. Just like that. And doing the same thing on this other side. So just placing four pistons on each side. Just there. And the next, I'm then going to grab myself some more grey concrete. And then I'm just going to place two next to each fridge. Plus, followed by a, another one on each side and then I'm going to grab myself a furnace and then place one next to each bit of concrete and in the middle I'm then going to grab myself a polished under site and then place that in the middle there and then returning to the iron trap doors I'm then going to place three just for like a hob design there and then for a chopping board design I'm going to be using a birch pressure plate I'm just going to place one next to each bit of white carpet on each side there and the next up for an extractor design, I'm going to be using some polished deep slate slabs for that. So just at the top bit, I'm just going to place six slabs going down. Then I'm going to place another two on each side there. And I'm placing four just along to finish that one off. But there's one thing missing, I need to add some food. And for this food, I'm going to be using some custom heads. And a quick disclaimer, these heads are only available on Java edition of Minecraft. However, I will show you another way of adding food that can be done in Bedrock as well. So I've just headed onto minecraftheads.com where you can get all of your custom heads. So I'm going to need a pizza and a hot dog. So um, if I just search in this little section here, I'm just going to search for a hot dog to begin with. And then I'm just going to choose this one here. And then I'm just going to firstly choose the version of Minecraft I'm in. And then I'm just going to copy that command there. And then going into Minecraft, I'm just going to give myself a command block by doing slash give at p. And then Minecraft command block there. Entering that, that'll give me a command block. I'm just going to place that down. 
and then paste the command into that. And then I'm going to grab myself just any sort of button. And I'm just going to place that to activate the command block. Press it. And then that will give me the hot dog head that we need. And I'm also going to need a pizza head as well. So I'm just going to search for pizza this time. And then I'm going to choose this pepperoni one here. And then again, just copying that, making sure it's the right version. And then heading back into Minecraft, placing a new command block down, pasting that command in, activating it, and that'll give me the pizza head. So that'll give us the two heads for the stand. So firstly, with this hot dog head, I'm just going to place one hot dog just there. And then I'm also just going to place one on the right side. But then with the pizza, I'm going to place one on the left side just there and then for the menu board firstly I'm just going to place the pizzas in this left and side one but I'm just going to rotate these just so they're sticking out from each other just there and then for the hot dog ones I'm just going to place one hot dog in each item frame there so if you're in bedrock or for some reason you just can't access the heads another way of doing this is if I just go to like foodstuffs I'm just going to grab some bread and a pork chop because I feel that's the best thing that represents a hot dog in Minecraft. And then I'm also going to grab myself some item frames. And with these, you could just replace these item frames with some bread and some pork chops. And then to replace all these heads that have been placed down, instead you could just add item frames and then add some pork chops just in those. That's a way of working around it if you don't have access to custom heads. So next up, I'm just going to repeat this exact same interior design on the other food stand just over here. So again, at the front, just placing two white carpet here. And I must just remind you, make sure you do hang on to these heads, just so you don't have to go through the hassle again of pasting them into your world. Yeah, so two carpet there. And then I'm then going to grab myself an iron trap door and again place one just on the end there. Followed by a lever to activate that. And then for the fridges, again, with these pistons, placing eight, just go in front of each other just there. So doing that just on each side. And that'll give us our fridges. And then grabbing some more grey concrete, placing just three on each side there and then also grabbing a furnace and placing one on each side followed by a polished and a site in the middle there and then with these iron trap doors placing three just on top there and then I'm also going to place some white carpet on each side of the fridge and then I'm also going to grab myself another birch pressure plate or another two chopping boards there and for an extractor fan design, I'm going to grab some more deep slate, polished deep slate slabs. And I'm just going to place, firstly, six going down just there. And then another two on each side. And then finally just four across the front there. Oh, and for a menu board design, I'm going to grab these chains and some more black wool. Placing two chains on those two blocks there. And then... One black wall underneath each chain, followed by a bit of black wall in the centre there. And then finally, just four item frames in the middle there. And then I'm just going to grab these custom heads. And firstly, just going to place the hot dog in the front. And then a pizza and also a, another hot dog there. And then for the menu board again, placing the pizzas on this side and just rotating them like that and I'm placing the hot dog there as well I have just noticed in in each of these food stands you don't actually have any drinks and I didn't actually think about that when designing this pitch so this isn't in the original bill of materials that I listed at the start of part one but if you do want to add an extra feature to your football pitch which I feel like I really should add now um I might as add some extra item frames in front of each fridge so again this isn't part of the start build of materials this is just an extra feature that I thought of but for some drinks, I might just get a water bottle and a honey bottle. And I'm just going to alternate these in the item frames. 
now add some nice drink fridges just there. So yeah, I didn't actually think about that. So um, yeah, so that's a nice little extra feature to add. Just on each food stand there. And this often happens a lot in my build tutorials. I'll end up, you know, building the whole thing again and realizing that it actually is missing some elements that I feel like definitely improve the build. So if you want to add these extra drink features, you're going to need 16 honey bottles and 16 water bottles plus 16 more item frames. So with the food stands and the changing rooms done, I can now start decorating the entrance areas. So for that firstly, I'm going to grab myself firstly some more stone. And just where there's any extra area I haven't filled in here, I'm just going to fill in all of that. So just doing that for each side. So now that the floor in between has been filled in, I can now start decorating each of these entrances. So I'm just going to start on the left side one to begin with. So first up, I'm just going to grab myself some black stained glass panes. And then if I just go to the outside here, from that point, going two blocks in, placing one pane there, send that up. And I'm doing the same thing on the other side. And that's just going to act as a nice door design there. And then for this section here, I'm now going to be adding the ticket desks and also the security area just there. So for this, I'm going to grab myself some grey concrete to begin with. And then I'm just going to go across from this point another two blocks. Then I'm going to place one grey concrete there. And then another one next to that. Leaving a gap of three and placing another two grey concrete on the other side. And just in the middle section here, I'm then going to grab myself birch gates and place three just in the middle there and I'm also going to grab myself a heavy pressure plate I'm just going to place one on each side and then returning to these glass panes I'm then going to place another one just on top of the grey concrete on each side there and for a laptop design I'm going to grab myself a birch sign and a painting and I'm just going to place one birch sign behind each heavy pressure plate there and then if I just shift I can then place the paintings in front of each of these signs. And that'll give us our laptops. And then for the chairs, I'm then going to grab myself a quartz slab. I'm just going to place one on each side there. And then I'm also going to grab myself an iron door and a light blue banner. And then I'm just going to place the iron door behind each trap door. And then a light blue banner in front of it. So I'm just going to do the exact same design on the other side. First up, I'm just going to add the doors again. So come to the front, going two blocks in, and then placing five glass panes on each side. Just there. And the next with the grey concrete, firstly from this point, counting across another two blocks, placing some grey concrete, and then another one, and then placing another two on the other side, leaving a gap of three there. And then I'm just going to place three perch fences just in the gap there. And then I'm going to place another glass pane just on each side there. And then for a laptop design, another heavy pressure plate. And then just going to place a burst sign just behind each pressure plate. And then shifting, I can then add a painting on each side. That'll give us the laptops. And then I'm just going to grab some more quartz slabs. Place one in front of each laptop there. One iron door behind that. So behind each of those. And then one light blue banner in front. And that will complete our other entrance area. And the next up, just on each of these corner sections that we just built, I'm now going to add a large score sign. So if I just start on any one of these, so I'm just going to start on the front left one just over here. For this first thing, I'm just going to grab myself a deep slate tile wall to begin with. And then just starting from this block here, I'm going to go up two diagonally. And then I'm just going to place one deep slate tile wall there. Then I'm going to leave a gap of two and then place another deep slate tile wall on the other side. And I'm just going to double that up by placing another wall on each side there. And the next, I'm then going to grab myself some black wall. And I'm just going to place one black wall on each wall there. And then I'm just going to place another two just to bridge that together. And then extend that up by another one just there. 
And then I'm going to grab myself some iron trap doors. And I'm just going to place three in the front just there. And then to display scores on this scoreboard, I'm going to show you how to create a zero and a one banner. So first thing, I'm going to grab myself a loom. So you can create these banners. And then firstly, for the non one banner, I'm going to grab myself a black banner to begin with. And then I'm also going to grab myself one black die and then three. So this is just for one number one banner. And then first I'm going to put the black banner in. And first I'm going to add one white stripe at the top there. And then switch into the black. I'm going to add one left stripe going down there. And then I'm then going to add one middle white one there. And then finally one bottom white stripe. Finish it off. And I'll give the number one banner. And the next up for the zero banner. So for that I'm going to grab myself a black banner. And also four white die. So again banner in and a die. One side stripe on the left. Another side stripe on the right. And then a stripe on the top. And a stripe on the bottom. And that will give us our zero banner. And I just noticed I did place those trapdoors wrong. So instead of placing them on the white ball, they actually need to be placed just one under there. So let's just quickly do that. And then I'm just going to place each banner on top of the left and right trapdoor there. But, but as you see, by doing that, that will complete our scoreboard design. So I'm just going to repeat this design for the other three corners of the stadium. So again, feel free to re-watch this part of the tutorial to finish that. So by the end, you should end up with something that looks like this. So you should have four scoreboards in each corner there. So we have nearly finished the football stadium. We've just got one final thing to do, which is to add all the decorations for our main football pitch here. So first up, I'm going to create a little glass wall going around the pitch here. So for that, I'm going to grab myself a deep slate tile wall and also some black stained glass panes. And then just starting on any side of where the entrances are. So if I just start on this side. And then just from this point here, I'm going to go down by three blocks. And then place one deep slate tile wall there. And then I'm going to leave a gap of seven. And place another wall on the other side there. And then just on each side, I'm just going to place two glass panes. Just on each side there. And I'm just going to mirror that on the other side. So again... Starting from at this point here, going down by three blocks, placing a wall, then leaving a gap of seven, and then placing another wall there. And then placing two glass panes coming out of each side. So these gaps that I've left on each side, these are to be left open. And then I'm just going to connect this point with the other point where the glass pane is over there. So I'm just going to follow this around the whole outer edge of this first half of the pitch. And that'll form our first half. And then leaving a gap there. And then connecting these other two points. Going all the way around as well. And that'll complete the walls for our pitch there. And of course our football pitch would not be complete without some goals. So for the goals I'm going to go grab myself some block of iron and also some cobwebs. So if I just start with the left goal over here with the block of iron from this point here I'm going to go across two blocks then I'm going to place one block of iron there and then from that point going across two blocks placing another block of iron there. And I'm just going to extend each of these points up so they're five blocks high in total just like that. And I'm just going to bridge these two top points together. And the next, moving to the cobwebs. I'm first just going to place two on each side to begin with. Then build them up by a, another two lots of two there. Followed by one on each side there. And then I'm just going to connect the outer edges of these cobwebs together. As you see, by doing that, that will form our goal. So I'm just going to do the exact same thing for the other side. So again, 
from this point here, counting across two, placing an iron block. And then from that point there, counting across two, placing an iron block. And extend these up so they're both five blocks high in total. And then bridging these top points together. And then I'm going to place two cobwebs on each side. Extend them up by another two blocks on each side. And then placing one on each side. And then just connecting the outer edges together. And that will form both of our goals. And next up, this football pitch needs a football. And there's a really cool custom head that can give us one of those. So I'm back at Minecraft Heads here. And this time I'm going to search just for soccer. And that gives us our soccer ball here. Well, football if you're, you know, like me and British. And uh, anyways, then I'm just going to copy that command. And then give myself another command block. Copying our commanding, activating it, and that gives us our soccer ball. And I'm just going to place this soccer ball in the middle of the pitch, so just right on the center line, just there. But if you are in bedrock and you can't get this head, I have got another soccer ball design that you can do. So if you're in bedrock, first thing I'm going to grab myself some white wool, I'm going to place that down. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab myself a banner and also some black dye. And then if I was grab myself a loom, what I would do, I'd place these both in it and, and I'll give myself a brick pattern like that. And then what I can do, I can just place this brick banner pattern going all the way around the bit of white wall there. And by doing that, that'll give you some sort of football looking design like that. So if you're on bedrock edition and you can't access these heads, then I'd recommend doing something like this. But anyway, with the football placed, we need some players on this football pitch. So for that, first thing, I'm just going to grab myself some armor stands to begin with. And then first thing, I'm just going to place one armor stand just in each goal section for the goalkeeper. And then just on each side of the pitch, I'm just going to place nine extra armor stands in each section just randomly so uh, firstly on the left section just going to place nine and you can either like rotate them as well so yeah so i'm just going to place nine so we've got what we've got six at the minute so seven and eight and then nine just like that and then i'm just going to place another nine randomly on this other side so four five six seven eight and then nine just there. That'll give us all of our players to begin with. And then just on each of these armor stands, I'm now going to grab myself a Steve head, which is actually just called head in Minecraft. So I play a head, and I'm just going to place each of these heads on each armor stand. So it's almost as if I'm forming this whole Steve army of football players. So I'm just going to place these on each armor stand. As you see. And the next up for the football players, clothes. So first up, I'm going to add the football kit for the goalkeepers. So for that, first thing, I'm just going to grab myself a leather tunic, some leather pants and some boots. And I'm going to grab myself some black dye and some white dye. And if I also grab myself a crafting table, inside these crafting tables firstly, I'm going to add one die to a leather tunic there, or black top, and then some white die for some trousers, and then some black die for some boots there. And I'm just going to place each of these bits of armour onto each goalkeeper there. And that'll give us the goalkeeper's outfits there. And the next up for each football team. So I'm going to be choosing some red and blue for each of the team colours there. So first up for the blue uniform. All I'm going to change is the colour of the tunic. So I might just grab myself another two different leather tunics. So you can do it for both teams while we're here. 
Oh, and I'm also going to grab myself some more red and blue dye. So I'm just going to dye each of these tunics in some red and some blue. So for all the players on the left hand side here, which are going to be the blue team, I'm going to add a blue tunic plus the white leather pants and black boots that we made for the goalkeepers earlier. So I'm just going to do this for each team player. That will complete our first team. And then just doing the same thing for the second team, but with using these red ones instead. So by the end of this, you should have a fully filled football pitch ready to start a match. And there we have it. That is our football stadium all complete. And I hope you did enjoy building this because I especially did. I thought it was quite a fun one to do. But yeah, and if you did enjoy this at all, I'd highly appreciate a little smash on that like button. And it does help me out. And I always do highly appreciate that. But yeah, so until next time, thanks for watching. And have a good day.